you gotta go hard, man. You gotta go hard, woman. You gotta go hard for that child that was abused. You gotta go hard for that child that never received love. You gotta go hard for that child that was always talked down on. You gotta go hard for that child that family members said would end up being just like his parents, his father. You gotta go hard for that child. You gotta go hard for that child that was always rejected, that was always chosen less in sports, that was never believed in, that was never receiving support from anybody. You gotta go hard for that child. Through all those pains that come, it does not create, it does not create a, a victim. It creates a survivor and it creates a beast. While everyone is asleep and comfortable, the beasts are out in the wild and they are hungry than ever. They are just hungry and hungry to eat and to keep on going up and up. While the people that are complacent, lazy, soft, they just stay the way they are every single year, every single day, gaining nothing, wasting life, wasting life. I die before I do that. You have to make the change. You can't wait for nobody else. You can't wait for your mom, your dad, your best friends, your teachers, your guidance counselor, nobody, your coach. You got to do it. You got to be the change. When you become the change, when you embody the change, they are going to look at you differently. Some will love you. Some will hate you. You cannot fit in the middle ground. You never have, you never will. There are people wishing on your downfall. There are people watching you, just waiting for you to fail. So they can be like, I told you so. I told you you should have done this. I told you you should have done that. What were you thinking? But as soon as you're succeeding, they're gonna be quiet. They won't have anything to say. When you're succeeding, they're gonna have nothing to say. Not that any of their opinion matters. But this is why I say I talk for the doers. I talk for the dreamers. I talk for the people that can't stand to be like the whole rest of the world. I talk for the people that knew that they were different and now fully walk into that. I talk for the people that have always been chosen last for everything that have always been likely to, to not succeed by other people. I'm for the underdog. I'm the embodiment of the underdog that is now becoming the top dog. And I humbly accept it. In the name of God, glory be to God. Make this world, forgive me Lord, your bitch. Make this world your bitch take over don't let nobody tell you what to do don't let nobody tell you how to act don't let nobody dictate your life this is your life this is not their life let them dictate their own life they waste their own life they have no control of their life so that's why they try to tell other people how to live we're not going for that we're not going for that we refuse get to work Stop being like everybody else. Everybody else just does the same thing and you expect to you expect a different type of result from the way everyone else acts. That's insanity. You can learn something from people like me. You can learn not to give one when the world wants you to. You can learn to be yourself unapologetically. You can learn to turn your back against the world, grab your nuts and say, God, I put all my faith in you and I'm going to walk the walk and I'm going to talk the talk and I'm going to do this with all heart, all soul. And no matter who tries to, to go against me, bid my family, bid a significant other, bid a friend, so be it. I don't need them. All I need is myself in this world. Why should I rely on people that have no sense of self, that have no power, that have no drive? 
I only want to be around people that have that drive to succeed. If you don't have that drive, stay away from me. I don't want to be your friend.